We begin this new time with breaking news. Two people are injured after a truck plunges into the water. Pinpoint News Tracker takes us to Main Road in Tiverton, and that is where a pickup truck crashed through a retaining wall this morning and then fell off a 15 foot cliff into the Sakonet River. Looking now at some photos taken by our eyewitness news crew at the scene, we're told both the driver of the truck as well as a responding firefighter were taken from the scene to the hospital. Right now, there's no word on the extent of their injuries. Now, you can also see a rescue boat here in the water as emergency crews investigate exactly what happened. As we mentioned, there is an eyewitness news crew on the scene. As a matter of fact, we want to bring in, I believe, Sean Daly, who is live on the scene. Sean, are you there? Yes, I am here, Elizabeth. Latest. What's the latest? The latest is that I just got here, and I want to caution that I am just putting the pieces together here myself, and it's quite possible that you know a little bit more maybe than I know. I'm also getting feedback in my ear here. Okay, we just got rid of that. That's a help. All right, here's how the, the scene I'm going to try to set here. We're here on Route 77. It's Main Road here in Tiverton. Panning right here, you can see this is the trouble spot here. A pickup truck goes over the wall here and into the water, into the bay, right here in Tiverton. It's about a 15 to maybe even, I'm told, a 20-foot drop. After the pickup truck went in and, you know, crashed and now is in the water, the firefighters come to try to rescue the driver of the pickup truck. And in the process of that rescue, a second victim emerges. That's a firefighter who himself loses his footing, I'm told, as he's going down to help rescue the driver of the pickup truck. And that firefighter himself has now been transported to a nearby hospital. We don't know the condition of either the firefighter or the driver of the pickup truck, but we're told, interestingly, by a 93-year-old man who, Dave, if we can pan left here, we can get a sense of where he was, of his vantage point. He was in his house there, that white house with the blue shutters. I don't know if you can see the color of the shutters there, but near the various rescue units there. I just spoke with that guy, and we're going to have the tape with him in a, in a couple of minutes. We're still trying to get that together. But that guy's got an interesting observation. He heard it all. He didn't see the initial crash, but he heard enough noise to know something had gone, had gone awry. So he then gets out. Mind you, he's 93 years old. He comes out here, he checks it out, and he sees with his own eyes that firefighter lose his footing and fall. We'll have all of this, the firefighter... Uh, the, inch, the, the observation on the firefighter in the next couple of minutes as soon as we put it together. Elizabeth and Patrick? All right, thank you, Sean.